everyone! Welcome back to Minty Kids! Today we're going to be reading this wonderful book called Today I Feel Angry, a book about managing emotions, written by Dr. Amy West and illustrated by Okan Babul, published and brought to us by Puppies, Dogs, and Ice Cream, Inc. Check the description below for a link which will take you to their site so you may purchase your own copy for your home library. Anyway, let's get to it! Emotions make a difference in how a day can go. The more you learn about them, the more that you can grow. No matter what you have in life, how great that you may be, Anger turns things upside down and upsets us easily. It brews within your belly, starts an itching in your nose. It heats you up from inside out and flushes down your toes. You may not understand it, the discomfort that you feel, but you should not ignore it, for it won't remain concealed. Anger's a reaction that is normal when it comes, like all emotions healthy, for you'd rather not be numb. Yet, when it's unacknowledged, it can fester like a cut, impacting what you say and do while oozing in your gut. Every day you're getting older, interacting with the world, facing challenges that come your way, like every boy and girl. Though some battles are external, there are those you fight within. And controlling how you react is a battle you can win. One thing you can control in life is how you view each day. Not only what you say and do, but how you pave the way. When anger rears its sizzling head, ask, how will you react? How can you voice the way you feel, but hold back from an attack? Maybe you feel angry that your sister stole your treat. You spilled your juice all down your shirt, or tripped on tangled feet. You lost the game you tried to win. Your best friend left you out. These things can fizz beneath your skin, causing chaos all about. Perhaps you're feeling angry that you have to go to school. It's cold or hot, you'd rather not. You hate that silly rule. No matter what the reason is, your anger's there, it's real. And once you say hello to it, you can manage how you feel. Step 1. Acknowledge the emotion. Use your words to give it voice. Although I'm feeling angry, my reaction is my choice. Name the source of your frustration. Use your words and not your hands. Tell your mom or dad or teacher. Find someone who understands. Step 2. Count your breaths for one whole minute, slowly in and slowly out. It's okay to step away. Be alone if you're in doubt. Take a moment by yourself until your head feels clear. Don't yell or stomp, but ask yourself, am I still in high gear? Step 3. There's calm in repetition, so let's choose a phrase for you. I am stronger than my anger, or I'm okay, will do. Repeat it and repeat it until your rage subsides. Drop your shoulders from your ears. Find calm from deep inside. I am calm. Step 4. Replay the situation. Understand what made you mad. How could you do things differently? What made you feel so bad? If you had superpowers, then what would you do right now? Say something nice, clean up your toys, 
or change the world somehow. It's important to remember that it's normal to feel things. Emotions form our bonds with life. They make us cry or sing. Even anger is productive. An opportunity to ask, how can I do things better? It's a test you're bound to pass. Like every sport we practice, we can't just jump in the game. You have to learn the smaller skills, as no moment is the same. But the more that you encounter situations that are tough and practice your reactions, you'll soon be calm enough. You'll notice that these feelings are less frightening with time, like summoning a mountain. Things seem smaller as you climb. Feelings are a superpower that you can tend and grow. Practice hard, you'll have it too. You're stronger than you know. Well everyone, that's pretty much it for today, but thank you so much for reading along with me. Remember, it's normal to feel angry sometimes. It's just up to you on how you choose to react. Don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned for more videos and stories like this one. Bye!